What's up fam, it's your boy Kale and I've got your five minute market update for today, Friday, July 28th, I think it's the 28th. It's a bad time to buy Ethereum and Bitcoin in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why and when you should buy it to make more money instead of less money. Um, we're gonna talk about Amazon earnings, Apple earnings, how this affects the markets. We're gonna talk about what to expect this weekend with the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum and stocks and all this. I guess stocks aren't open on the weekend, but all this other stuff, we're gonna talk about what to expect in the month of August. Guys, if you get any value out of this, do me one favor, just smash the like button and share this with one person who would like these daily updates because I'm gonna try to do it most days for five minutes. All right, let's get to it. The price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at $24,000, that's nice. Ethereum's at $17.23, that's cool. Stocks are, uh, they're kind of in this area where we're like, are we gonna go? Are we just gonna keep going crazy parabolic or are we gonna come back down? So this is why I think overall that we are, this is not the perfect time to be aping, in, aping into Bitcoin or Ethereum, okay? I do think over the weekend, I'm just gonna get on, I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag right here and then I'll tell you, I'll explain why for the rest of the time. But I really think that Ethereum is going to come down to this, maybe this 1550 level that I've drawn right here, 1550. I know you guys can't see, so I will I will draw it right here. 1550 or 1500 over the weekend or maybe early next week. That is about the latest that I would be waiting for this, okay? If my plan, you, you guys do whatever you want. My plan is to either buy at 1550 or 1500 and then ride it all the way back up to about $2,500. I really do believe over the month of August, we can go all the way to $2,500 in uh, Ethereum, which would be, you know, really, really nice move. And, or, or I should say, if we don't actually get this low and sometime early next week, we're still hovering around these prices, we're just doing this, right? I'm going to just buy right here and do the same thing, write it up, okay? Because I think August is going to be extremely bullish. For Bitcoin, similar idea, okay? I think right now is just a terrible time to buy because I do think that we're gonna get a retest. I don't know if you guys have seen the price of Bitcoin lately over the past couple days. I mean, maybe if you you know fell asleep and went under a rock, um, we were at $21,000 like 48 hours ago. This was 21K and we just went straight up. So typically, Bitcoin doesn't just go in a straight line, right? Typically, what happens is Bitcoin will come back down and retest some of these levels. So the first level is 23,400. The next level is 22,400, okay? So I would love to load up the truck at 22,400 and then ride this bad boy all the way up to 30K, okay? So that's my plan as well. Same thing with Ethereum, same thing as with Ethereum. If next week we're still hovering around this same level, I'm just going to buy anyway because I do think August is going to be bullish. Now you're probably wondering, Kale, why, why, what happened? So let's do a quick recap of where, how we got here. Why did Bitcoin go crazy? Well, it started off with earnings. We had Microsoft and Google do really well and then we had the Federal Reserve had their meeting and, and Jerome Powell came out and said basically, hey guys, I'm gonna print that money. Like that's a very quick summary, but he was very dovish. He was very dovish in that meeting. If you don't know what that is, go do some research. And we had a negative GDP print, which means that we are technically in a recession. So what that means is if we're in a recession, it is, it is much harder to cut rates and slow down the money printer because you can't hike rates into a recession, okay? So that's why the market is reacting positively. We also had people that were predicting that Amazon would tank on their earnings. I actually thought Amazon wouldn't do as well either because of high gas prices last quarter, but they actually did great. We also thought that, that Apple was, wasn't gonna do very well on earnings, which would have brought down the stock market, right? Which typically brings down Bitcoin. But as you guys know, as you guys are probably aware, we actually had the opposite happen. We had Apple that went absolutely parabolic and crazy right here, boom, because why did they, why, why'd they do that? Well, because there's an advertisement. No, because Apple beat its revenue and profit expects growth to accelerate despite pockets of softness. So not only did they beat expectations, they're saying we're gonna keep selling a bunch of phones. Apple is a great company and that is why, dang. I mean, that is huge for the markets, right? We also have Amazon. Amazon jumps on revenue beat and rosy guidance for the third quarter. So not only did they beat expectations, they said, hey guys, we're gonna keep on beating expectations because we're awesome and we're Amazon. And, and I don't even know why I ever doubted Amazon because I ordered like 30 things from Amazon this week, right? Smash the like button if you love Amazon. Like, I mean, holy crap. Like, obviously this company rocks. And so with that being said, you're probably thinking, Kale, why, why wouldn't I just buy? Like, we're going to the moon. Well, here's the thing, guys. Sometimes everything can go right, right? You can have... You can have Apple, you can have Amazon, you can have basically what I've been saying was going to happen for months if you watch this channel. I've been telling you that, well, everyone thinks it's gonna be doomsday for earnings, but it's actually the opposite. All these companies are gonna do really well 
and the FOMC is not going to be bad. And lo and behold, I was right. So I I was completely right. I hope you've been watching this channel, but I've been buying Bitcoin down here around 19, you know, the lows, 21,000. I even bought down here even lower back here at like 19,000. And I, I took a ton of profits. I took a ton of profits today and yesterday because I just think that the price action is, is stalled out a little bit. I think over the weekend, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna come down. I know it's getting messy on my screen, but I think we're gonna come down, retest some of these levels. That doesn't mean that we're not gonna go up. It's just, we've been so bullish for so, you know, it's been so crazy. This has been such a crazy fast move. People tend to take profits on the weekends, which is why I would encourage, I'm not, whatever, do whatever you want to do. I'm taking some profits. I'm going to buy back a little bit lower, but I'm so bullish for August, guys. I'm just so bullish. Ethereum in particular, the Ethereum merge is set to be the golden moment for ETH to outperform Bitcoin. So if you don't know what this is, you know how Bitcoin miners, how, how Bitcoin, a certain amount of Bitcoin is mined every single day, right? That's supply that enters into the market. That's like if you're running an ice cream stand and all of a sudden you get a new load of ice cream, right? Supply and demand. You have to sell that ice cream. Well, Ethereum, every same thing, right? Ethereum comes on the market every single day for miners, but this is changing. In September, that, that supply is going to go down to zero, zero. So this is a big supply shock for the market. It's kind of like a Bitcoin halving. And as you guys know, that's really bullish for price action. But we have this guy named Vitalik. He, look at him. I mean, I, I can't trust this guy. Anyone who wears a bear costume like this, I can't really trust him. I think he's a complete, I, th I think he's a risk long-term. So I'm just gonna trade this. I, I enjoy making money. I don't really want to hold Ethereum like long-term. I just wanna get in and get out because I don't trust this guy. And I think, I think I honestly think it could implode. I don't know. Maybe it won't, it probably won't. But I don't trust it like I trust Bitcoin, right? If you're only gonna buy one coin, buy Bitcoin. Like that, that's, that's what I know about life. But I can make more money on Ethereum, so I'm gonna go 50-50 Bitcoin and Ethereum for the month of August. I think that we are going to have an absolutely amazing month of August because, I know I'm running out of time, I'm almost done, because the next big event is not till September 21st, guys. Wow, we have so much time before we get another macro event that could take us down to new lows. That there, it's, it's, kind of like, it's kind of like we have a free pass. We have a free run here to higher prices because there isn't bad news on the horizon. For the past few months, I, if you've been in crypto, you know that there's been bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. Stuff is always on the horizon, right? But this month, we have a finally, we have a free runway to take off. So, so we're gonna load up, we're gonna wait for that little bit of a retest for everybody to panic. I'm particularly excited, particularly excited about people taking some profits on Ethereum so that I can buy all the Ethereum at 1500 or 1550 and ride that back up to 2500. That will be a nice juicy, juicy gain. Oh, so juicy. If you want more details, my exact trades are posted live the second that I ever spend any money or take any profits or anything. I post the profits, the trades in this NFT project. It's a Discord channel. All you do is you buy one of these NFTs, you get access to the Discord channel, you meet a ton of amazing cool people, you have a great time. It's the best thing ever. So make sure you guys do that. Smash the like button, share this. I'll be back tomorrow. Love you guys. That was eight minutes. Sorry. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, love you. Bye.